Hi folks, Terry back with another Marks video for terrystrange.com. This is a Marks 999 that I got about 10 months ago. Shortly after I got it, I had to bypass the E-Unit because the E-Unit got stuck in reverse and that's all it wanted to do. Now, it's a simple process to bypass them. Uh, I'll put a link to Ben's trains in the description below that shows how to do that. You simply cut the wires to the E unit, uh, run one wire from one side of the coil to power, the other side to the brush plate, and the unit will now run forward only. Uh, this little locomotive is missing its front and rear trucks, but other than that, it's complete. Shortly after I got it too, the engine locked up, excuse me, would not run just would buzz and get hot bar my hand there and the reason being was uh, this here this is the armature out of it it apparently went bad and it would not turn it would just get hot so i finally last week was able to pick up a new armature and put in the locomotive and it immediately came back to life so i've got it hooked up on a partial tin litho consists with a work caboose custom that i made it is made from an old marks caboose trimmed down and to fit on the frame and a marks gondola car on 3 16th inch trucks i think it turned out pretty nice a few paint imperfections but other than that it's fine so i'm going to turn the power on and let you see how well this 999 runs on de-rusted track and, and some other track that i had junk track laying around so it's not the best but I can't take this thing over 45% or it will fly off the curves. So let's get her going here. Be right back. Okay. Uh, turning the power on. I'm using a Benz magnetic lock on for the track. And I'll turn it on. And there it goes. Got a headlight. Got. Nice and, and it really runs now. I've been running this for a little while yet, and the motor has broken loose. As you see, it is really doing well. I'm quite pleased with it. So, yeah, when you have one of these little locomotives, uh, you can fix if you have a wheel puller, a way to press the wheels back on, a multimeter, just basically a soldering iron and screwdriver, take it apart, and that. You can fix anything you can find on eBay if you have the spare parts. Right. So it's turned out really nice. Oh, the car lost its load, but I don't care. And it will turn out really well. Um, and run. Yeah, and you can get these Mars locomotives for pennies on the dollar, what you'd pay for a lot of Lionel stuff. So, you know, don't give up on them if they aren't. Just because they don't run when you get them, if the eBay, it says for parts only or whatever in the listing, that doesn't mean that they won't be running when you're done with them. Now, other than missing its front and rear trucks, this is a complete 999 running great, and it only cost me 10 bucks plus, uh, well, about 17 if you put the cost of the new armature in. And you can find these spare parts on eBay. You can also go to Robert Grossman Company at Train parts for marks.com and if you need tips on getting these old locomotives going simply do a YouTube search for Ben's trains he has numerous videos over a thousand videos to show you how to get these old marks running so I'm quite pleased with it I just want to do a quick video on it it has turned out really well especially considering it's not running on the best of track as you see it is at about 45 percent power and it's just cruising around this track with no trouble. So that's what I wanted to do. I hope you like to enjoy the video. If you have any questions, feel free to let, drop me an email at terrystrains.com. Uh, terrystrains at gmail.com, excuse me. And um, thank you for watching.